Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I have here another box to open. So, in this unboxing video I will address fountain pens but in a slightly different way. I think, maybe, if you are interested in Caveco pens, you may be following my website which is called Caveco Madness. It is www.caveco-madness.com And in that website I'm showing you my collection of Caveco and trying to give a, a history of the, of, of the brand and the history of Caveco Sport pens. In that site I created more recently a part about co-branding and on that co-branding page there is there are some pens that are not quite a limited edition or exclusive produc production with a different color really they are just pens with the name of a store maybe engraved and this is what I'm going to talk about to you today in this unboxing video, in this very nice black box that I'm going to show. So, first let me tell you that this box was sent by a German brand called Nomos Glashut. I'm very bad in German, and it is a watch company, but there are Caveco inside. A nice Victorinox knife and let's start to see what is inside. Okay, the box is open and let's see what we have here inside. So first you can see this is the, in this wrapping paper, it's very nice, it, you have the watch numbers, which is interesting, this got unglued there and this is the, the logo of the Nomos store or Lo Nomos brand. So let's open this and we have inside three packages. all very nicely packed in black kind of silk paper. Let me put them here on the side. And also in the nice box we have paper clip and a card from them saying have fun reviewing greetings from Glasshut uh, and then the signature of people that sent me this and then we have the, the shipping information the, the content of the packaging we also have a little catalog with the collection of the brand, so many interesting watches. I have to say they have quite a big range of models as you can see here and I have to say that I'm not that much into watches but maybe I should. I have a couple of them but I usually don't use them but watches can really be interesting stuff and they also have this kind of sundial to see the hours through the sun. So, thank you for the catalog. I think I will give it a look. Let's put this package away and let's see what we are here for, which is the Caveco pens. So, this packaging is very, very nice, very beautiful. And we have three boxes, 
1 and there is a little dot there this is very interesting this box is like uh, covered in a fabric kind of thing which is very pleasant another one this one has no little dot and the next one is this one with also no extra dot and so the uh, Nomos was very nice for sending me these three packages And let's check what we have inside. Let's start with this one. So we have the silver colored tins. It comes with nice uh, package of ink cartridges. And we have here a black Caveco Sport that says Nomos Glass Hutter. And there is no engraving on Caveco Sport. I thought by the photos, that's why this is interesting to have the pens in our hands. It has Nomos Glass Huta into adge two adjacent, 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 sorry, um, two adjacent. <laughs> My English is getting worse. Um, facets, and I thought it was that only, but there are also on the other side, so. Interesting to see the logo there. There is no Caveco Sport logo. You have the Caveco medallion on top of the cap. You have a chrome. This is a chrome trim. You have the steel nib medium and a Caveco blue cartridge inside. And so this pen, we have to say it is equivalent to the Caveco Skyline Sport in black. However, this is interesting because I can really see that. I don't know if you can. It's hard to show it through this lighting, but the depth of this black is different from that one. I have to check with other black Caveco pens I have. I don't know if this can go through the camera for you, but I can see differences. So this one has the silver uh, logo, this one has a white logo, no Caveco Sport, and the shade of the black is slightly different. So this is an, some interesting thing to explore further. Then we go to the next one, this, this is the one who has a pinkish dot. And we have the another blue cartridge package and we have here a silver colored pen. And this is a, technically this is a Caveco AEL Sport RAW. This is the one that gets very scratched and such. You have the engraved, this is really engraved, not just printed and says Nomos Glass Hutter the same way and okay this has the imprint only in two facets not in four facets in opposite sides this pen is very beautiful very shiny this one comes also with an M nib and this is very interesting it should have a blue royal blue ink cartridge inside and so this is the AL Sport RAW. This pen gets scratched very easily. So I'll have I'll show you mine. This is my, my AL Sport RAW. And here it is compared with the other one. This one is like mirror finish and this one is already quite scratched. But they are the same pen. This one has a, a white engraving there saying Caveco AL Sport Germany. This one doesn't say Caveco Sport, only Nomos Glass Uta and nothing more. 
the same shiny pen. And let's put this away. And let's go to the final one. These sleeves are really nice and sturdy. And we have another silver package, another silver color tin, which are really interesting. They are sometimes they are quite hard to show in the video because they mess up with the color balance and sometimes with the also the exposure of the video. So we have a box of cartridges. This time we have we are speaking of Caveco Pearl Black cartridges, which the, are always nice. I really like the Caveco Pearl Black ink. As I told you sometimes before, I know that brands sometimes don't like to be compared, but the, the this color reminds me of the Caveco Quink Black, the vintage one, and this is that is an ink that I really like, so it makes some kind of sense. So this one is a is a little messed up there, but no trouble. And we have here another pen, and this is quite interesting because this is the Bordeaux or the Burgundy version. It has the Nomos glass hood in two adjacent adjacent facets and also on the opposite two facets the same thing. Now the Bordeaux or the Burgundy version is already available. It is a regular color of the Caveco Classic Sport. But the Caveco Classic Sport has gold trim and this one has silver trim. So this is really a different one. It is it is assembled in a different way not assembled in a different way. The piece that goes there is different and this is mostly the biggest difference because the, the nib is just push fit so it has a medium steel nib. I think they only offer the pens in medium, I'm not sure. And this one has no ink cartridge. No, it has, but it's that case of Caveco cartridges to be stuck like that. You saw, I made a video once about why my cartridge can't go in. Check inside because this happens a lot with Caveco pens. So this is an interesting pen because it has silver trim. The regular Caveco Classic Sport Burgundy is this one with gold trim and the Caveco Sport in print. This doesn't have Caveco Sport in green. It has the white logo of Nomos and then it has the chrome uh, logo. And there was also a limited edition, an older one, that was exclusive to Spain and I guess also here in Portugal, because the distributor at that time for Spain and Portugal was the same. And you can see also the same gold in print, the gold medallion on top, the gold plated nib, although it is steel, but this one, it is a special edition, it has a guilloche uh, pattern both on the barrel, I hope you can see it with the light, like that. It had it both on the barrel and on the cap. And so, this is another variation of the burgundy, which really is different. This is something that maybe we, it, it may be interesting for collectors and this is why I'm trying to collect all this information and trying to put them on the, on, on the Caveco Madness website because this is interesting. There are these pens that are kind of regular pens, don't have the Caveco imprint but have another imprint there, but they are regular production pens. These are kind of regular production colors, but with a small difference in trim. So this may be interesting. Um, and this is something that we should, not should, but maybe some people that are trying to collect variations, be aware that the Nomos version of the burgundy one has a chrome trim. And also that the black one is a different shade of black, 
and you have this beautiful shiny one. So if you want any of these pens, you can check them on Nomo's website and it is available easily uh, online. I can, I will leave you the, the logo to, to go to their web store on the video description as I usually do. And so you can check these pens if you want. I also have some notebooks and of course watches. So this is all I have to show you. I hope you find these interesting and check the Caveco Madness website, join the Facebook group of Caveco collectors and users and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. So see you next time. Bye.